Okay, this is the second video that I'm making about word problems, okay? So once again, um, this problem says a reloadable bank card has an initial cost of $4.95, so I will highlight that right here, and a service fee of $2.95 a month, okay? Um, then it gives us that Y is the total cost. Oops, sorry guys, that didn't work. Um, why is the total cost of maintaining the bank card for X months? So again, the first thing I always like to do is I like to write out what are my variables, okay? So X is measured in months, but it's really measuring time, okay? So X is the number of months you're using this bank card. Y is, again, your total cost. And we're just going to assume that we're talking about U.S. dollars. I guess we could be talking about Canadian dollars. We'll assume U.S. dollars. Okay. And again, they want the slope and the y-intercept and their meaning. All right. Um, now, I know they didn't exactly ask for this, but I also want you guys to be able to do this to write the equation in y equals mx plus b form. Okay. So remember last time in the previous problem, we used a table to organize our ideas and thoughts, okay? So with this initial cost, remember the word initial is kind of a magical word for starting, right? So after zero months, right, the very first day that you get this bank card, um, the um, cost is $4.95, okay? And then, right, it says every month after that, right, it's two, we're adding, if you will, right, 295, okay? So we need to figure out, okay, well, what is 495 plus 295? So let's just do that over here real quick. 495 plus 295, right? So that's 790, okay? So, then this is 790, right? And we could keep going with, with, with a table if we wanted to. We certainly don't need to, okay? So um, remember that um, our M is our slope, right? And our B is our Y-intercept, okay? And remember that our Y-intercept looks like zero comma some number. So does anything so far look like it could be a Y-intercept? So hopefully you realize, right, 0 comma 495, that is our y-intercept, okay? So our y-intercept, we're going to put here 495. Okay, then we need to figure out our slope, right? Every single month, these people are taking $2.95 of my money. That's really annoying, but it's still true, okay? So remember that our slope... One definition of slope is the change in y over the change in x, right? And again, remember y is your total cost, right? So the change in cost um, over the change in time, right? And again, they are charging me an extra $2.95 every month, right? $2.95 over 1, that's $2.95, okay? And again, that is my slope, that is M. Okay, so my final equation is $2.95 times X plus $4.95, okay? And I'll write that better down here. So we have Y equals, sorry, uh, $2.95 X plus Okay. Um, and just like last time, um, the, the explanation or the, for the meaning of the slope and the y-intercept are really um, already in here. Okay. So if we want the meaning of the y-intercept of 495, right, that is the initial cost. Um, if you want to put it in your own words, you're welcome to do that. But again, it's, it's literally already um, done for you. Um, the other thing is the slope right? And what does the slope mean, right? That is the $2.95 uh, service fee per month, 
okay? So this right here is really the explanation of the slope, okay? And this right here is the explanation of the y-intercept. So if you wanted to go into more detail or put it in your own words, that's fine. But like I said, it's already kind of ex stated and explained in, in the problem. Okay, that's it.